I'm here with a book review. This week I am reviewing The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Frig, we'll say, so we don't get demonetized, by Sarah Knight. I picked this up um, this week and it's a super quick read, so I thought I would do a review video and let you know what I think of it. Um, in the meantime, if you want a reading, you can go click on the link below to the Etsy shop. If you want to join um, my Facebook group, it's called the Rock and Roll Witches. It is in the link below. It's um, a group where we talk about things like astrology. We talk about um, we talk about crystals. We talk about tarot. We talk about witchy stuff. So if you want to join us there, certainly welcome to. There are three questions that are mandatory to answer in order to get in the group. So just make sure you answer them. But let's get to this book. So I picked this book up. This is actually not a brand new book. I think she's got a book out that's a little bit, um, I think a little bit newer. I think it's called e Get Your Poop Together. Poop being an insert for, you know what word, because I don't want to get demonetized. This one's from 2015 and it's obviously a sort of silly cheeky take on the life-changing magic of tidying up and it's very much written in that format. The cover even looks like it. She has it in kind of the same kind of fonts and things, the same kind of organization style wise. It is a quick read just like the other one is and she does follow some of the same organization of the book as Marie Kondo. So um, Marie Kondo's Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up we talked about sorting your possession. So, you know, sort of tidying up your house and this is more about tidying up your mind. So in Marie Kondo's book, she talked about how you should tidy up clothes first, then books, then I think it was miscellaneous things, then papers, and then, um, you know, sentimental things and photos. Well, in this one, she talks about, so this really is a book about setting boundaries. So it's a, saying that it's okay to not spend your time energy or money on things even if other people think you should. So it's really about decluttering your mind. Um, you know if everybody around you is watching for instance Game of Thrones but you have zero interest in it, it's okay to have no interest and not spend any time or money on that because doing something just because you think you should do it is probably not very productive and you could really spend that energy doing other things. So she gets you to really think about what it is that you do actually care about. Now, like I said, she's divided the, uh, the categories into um, the first chapter is about on giving and not giving a frig. So what you give your time and energy to as opposed to what you don't. Because as she says, we all have a frig budget. Um, so there's only so much energy, time and money we can give to things. So we have to figure out what our priorities are. The second one is on deciding not to give her frig. And so she divides it into categories. So the first thing is things. And that's a little bit easier for you to set some boundaries with. The next thing is work. And then we have friends, acquaintances, and strangers. And finally, the trickiest of all, which is family. Setting boundaries with family, which can be very, very tricky. Now, she says she's all about um, the not sorry method which is about being polite but honest. And sometimes she says that's a sliding scale. Sometimes you have to be a little bit more polite than honest. Um, sometimes, you know, you have to be a little more honest than polite. But, um, you know, it, it does, you know, depend on the occasion, that's for sure. But she really talks about setting boundaries with things. So, you know, if a friend keeps inviting you to karaoke night and you hate karaoke, um, just being honest with them, but also polite. She talks about not being an a-hole and saying, you know what, um, I love spending time with you, but I really don't like karaoke. Maybe we can do X or, you know, um, I, you know, just telling them I don't like karaoke. So, you know, I'm probably not going to go to karaoke night. Um, and then you gain yourself a night back. You gain yourself a night instead of torturing yourself doing something that you don't like to do. And maybe you go for breakfast with them because you really like breakfast. So it's really just about being honest and polite with people. 
Um, it's also about, you know, not engaging in, um, you know, drama as well. And, you know, saving your energy for the things that actually really do matter. Now, she has some exercises where you're supposed to list all the things that you don't give a frig about. I found it a little more helpful personally to list the things that I do care about um, and realize that anything that follows, falls outside of that is, is things not to give my time and energy to. You know, if you don't care about Instagram, don't feel obligated to have an Instagram account or to spend time there. You know, we only have so much time and energy in our lives. So it's really, like I said, just about setting boundaries. Um, when she talks about work, you know, that can get a little trickier than things because, you know, we sometimes feel obligation or pressure to participate in certain things. But there are polite ways to get around things and also polite ways to set some boundaries, which she does talk about. Um, you know, if somebody asks you to a, a meeting that you don't really need to go to, maybe you put something else on your calendar so that you're busy and spend your time doing things that are actually productive as well. So it is kind of helpful in that way. This is a very cheeky, funny book. She does, her style is kind of funny. There are a lot of swears in it. So if you're not a swear bear or you don't like lots of swears, then, you know, this book probably isn't for you. Um, but she's cheeky and funny. The only thing I would say about this is this was written in 2015 and it's already dated because she uses a lot of pop culture references. And already some of this stuff is a little bit old. So I don't think this book is going to age very well. Um, she does, you know, use some funny, you know, sort of Venn diagrams and I'm just trying to give, da -da, find one here. She talks about weddings. She uses weddings as a good example of something that you might feel obligated to do, but uh, you definitely uh, don't have to. And so there's like one of her funny little charts as well. So she's got some of those things in here and, um, oh, the other parts here are so she the big ones deciding not to give a frig and she goes through the four different sort of categories there's also not giving a frig so she talks about different threat levels uh threat level yellow orange and red so yellow is easy ones to stop giving uh medium tough and then the hardest ones which usually have to do with family and about politely setting boundaries like sometimes you have to say to people uh, you know, you have to say to your racist uncle or your uh, very religious aunt that, you know, I, I don't think that talking about religion or politics is appropriate here or, you know, I'd rather not talk about this right now or rather not talk about this in a family environment, um, you know, and then change the subject to something else. Now, people don't always get that message, even when sometimes you're honest and polite. Sometimes you do have to hurt people's feelings, but it's really about setting boundaries. Like I said, this is uh, a very interesting little read when it comes to that. And then she talks about how that can transform your life. If you're not spending time uh, doing things you don't really want to do, you have more time to do the things that you do. If you're not spending money on things you feel obligated to do, then you have more money for other things that actually matter to you. So I would say this book is good as far as getting you to clarify what actually matters to you. It's also kind of a funny book, but like I said, it's a bit dated already. Um, and then as well, I think that um, I would focus more on categorizing the things that you actually care about as opposed to worrying about all the things that you don't care about. But that's just my personal opinion. I would give this about three and a half stars out of five. I think if you like sort of funny, quick read self-help books, it's for you. If you don't like swearberry things or you're looking for something a little more in-depth psychologically, then this book may not be for you. Let me know if you've read it or if you're interested in reading it or what you think. Uh, let me know and like and subscribe. And as always, peace and love.